Well, good evening, everyone. Our reading tonight contains that most famous of all verses, John 3:16. Uh, it's from uh, the read. The reading goes from verse 13, John 3:13, down to John 3:17, and most people, I guess, can recite verses 16 and 17. However, I want us to think of the two verses that precede it. They refer to an Old Testament story, and it says this. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. And God, judging his people, sent a snake or snakes amongst them who bit the people. Those who were bitten uh, died from the venom of the snakes. Uh, And to stop the plague, Moses was told by God to make a bronze snake which he lifted up when they were in the wilderness. And anyone who looked at the bronze snake was healed and the snake venom didn't kill them. And so this passage refers to that story. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. And Jesus was lifted up on the cross that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. So those in the wilderness who looked at the bronze snake, which was lifted up, received earthly life. Their life was extended on the earth. But the Son of Man was lifted up, and those who look at him, who put their faith in him, are saved and have eternal life. Interesting to note the comparisons with this story. It was God's judgment, it was the fault of the people of Israel who had sinned against God that the snake was sent into the wilderness. And we are under God's judgment because of our sinfulness, the the things we have deliberately done that we knew to be wrong, those things we have failed to do which we know we should have done. And so we also are under the judgment of God. But God provided a way that they could be healed and Moses lifted up the snake. They didn't have to do any great ritual. They just had to look at the snake. That meant that required faith, of course. They had to believe uh, that looking at the snake would do something. And uh, when they looked at the snake, they were healed. And uh, we are under God's judgment, but God lifted up his own son. The Lord Jesus was lifted up on the cross. And so if we believe in him, if we put our faith in him, if we look to the cross for our salvation, we'll be saved. There's an old hymn we used to sing when I was a child. I'll sing it to you. And if I can find a YouTube version of it, I'll put it in the um, uh, comments below so that you can uh, watch it. But the hymn goes like this. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. The message unto you I'll give. Tis recorded in his word, hallelujah, it is only that you look and live. Look and live, my brother, live. Look to Jesus now and live. Tis recorded in his word, hallelujah, it is only that you look and live. I have a message full of love, hallelujah, a message, O my friend, for you. Tis a message from above, hallelujah. Jesus said it, and I know tis true. Look and live, my sister, live. Look to Jesus now and live. Tis recorded in his word, hallelujah. It is only that you look and live. Life is offered unto you, hallelujah. Eternal life your soul shall have. If you only look to him, hallelujah. Look to Jesus who alone can save. Amen. I urge you tonight to look to Jesus and be saved. Amen.